Hey everybody, this is John from Nevermore Antiques, and we got the whole family out today. Hi. Hi, say hi. 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 We're all out today, and we're getting ready to go up to the antique booth once again. I know you guys are like, oh my God, another antique booth video. No, I've just got a little bit of stuff to throw in there, and then we're gonna head up to the Goodwill. Today is Sunday, so that means it is 50% off, I believe the yellow tag. So we're gonna go up there and see if we can find some really awesome shirts and clothing uh, that is left over. I love the yellow tag sale because you can pick up t-shirts for like I think they're like a buck 75 and at that point uh, I can sell them for about 10 bucks a piece with a couple dollars shipping and make pretty decent money on them uh, there's a lot more stuff up there you can pick up sometimes I pick up blue jeans or something like that uh, long sleeve shirts I've been collecting uh, hoarding more like a polo shirts so that I can list them together in lots and hopefully make a little bit of money with them because I've watched other clothing sellers and it seems like with the polo style golf shirts if they're just uh, kind of gener uh, generic you can make a lot of money though still lotting them up in sizes and selling them to the uh, customer that way because they want to wear them and what better way to get a good deal than buying them in bulk right right Noah what 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 right Asher yeah. yeah yep piggy even said yeah so they know they know this is the uh, Johnson family adventure so we're going to go see what we can find and we will do a haul video and show you all of our cool stuff what are you doing mister what are you doing hey you what are you doing you getting out you gonna get? Do you got a Mickey book, or is that That's your cheese. brother's? Look at all that Under Armour you got on. Boy, oh boy, you step all over Dad's camera bag. There we go. Let's see if we got some good stuff back here. You gonna open the door for me, there, son? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. This is what we brought up here today. <laughs> I've got an old, uh, it's called Smears and Robust. It's just an old joke catalog. Um, I got a couple of Lego sets, those vintage flashlights. I got a bunch of these uh, shot bags that I've tagged. Um, I've been buying stickers off wish.com and I put like six in a little bag like this and put a dollar fifty on it. That is a good little deal right there. That is awesome. Um, that's pretty much it. I got some other uh, figures here in the bottom. And I got a beast off of the X-Men, Raphael, big old incredible Hulk over there. Some more stickers. So that's pretty much what we're bringing in today. So we're not going to spend a whole lot of time because we've been we've been boothing it up for a while, and we're not really uh, we're not really gaining a whole lot of traction up here. But we're hoping that when the weather breaks, that we start. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I've got up here. I put my stickers up. You can get them from wish.com and they're really, really cheap. What do we pay for all those stickers? It was two or three dollars for 50 of them. Two or two or, yeah. two or three dollars for 50 of them. So then I took and broke them up into little bags and put six in a bag and put a dollar fifty on them for six of them. They're the little uh plushine stickers uh there's a lot more we've got coming too we've got band stickers we've got uh what else fortnite, fortnite stickers coming got all kinds of stuff and there's some mario stickers we're gonna order a bunch of them and uh, i'm gonna put a bunch of them in my booth in these little bags but these are all my action figures look at that guy i think the hulk could take them though what do you think noah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. It's like he jumped in a bucket of radiation. Bucket of radiation. Fantastic Four. I don't know what his name is. We were talking about that last night. But there we go. So we're going to head up to Goodwill and see if we can find some awesome stuff. Somebody needs to come by that big teddy bear. He needs to go. He needs to go. Here's a couple of things that I found. I found this nice little travel alarm clock. It's three bucks. That's really cool. It's a little west clock. It's a neat little uh, United States Postal Service uh, safe driver. It's a buck fifty. Yellow tags are fifty percent off today. And then here's a like a Nicole Miller. It's a tie and cuffling set. 
brand new in the box for two bucks. They have a couple of other cool things here. These little earrings, they'll be $2.50. Um, another bunch of earrings for $2.50. Uh, here's a couple of Mardi Gras pens. Those are kind of cool. I really like those. Really like those. So huh, I'm going to look at another tray here real quick. So I came back here and they've just pushed out this cart and uh, they've got a bunch of these 8-tracks that are still sealed. Look at that. That's the Clash for 50 cents. Still sealed. So we're going to put that right there. Let's see what else we can find here. Look. Look at this. The Sex Pistols. How about that? The Sex Pistols and the Clash. Both of them brand new. Factory sealed. There's that a is... couple good ones in there. Yeah, there's a lot of really good ones. There's Led Zeppelin and Alvin Lee. And... Yeah. Uh, Beatles. There's a Beetle one with a bunch of tracks. There's yeah. Fleetwood Mac. That Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's awesome. I don't know if they're sealed or... Yeah, they yeah. are sealed. Yeah, Led Zeppelin. Led... They wrapped them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. It looks pretty period. It looks like it's right. I don't know why somebody would go through the trouble of... Uh... Yeah of wrapping them but they say they're gonna be worth something real soon yeah look at that the beetles ruthless oh no 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 that's ruthless that's not the beetles what am i thinking let's see there's the pirates look at that that is cool we're gonna we're gonna get the pirates for sure um John Miles, look at this Fleetwood Mac. There's a double pack of the Fleetwood Mac. We're gonna, we're gonna get those too. That's really cool. Um, oh, look at this. Look at me going crazy. Look at that, the new, the New York Dolls. What do you find? The polo. What color is it though? What color is the tag? Blue. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pass on that. But if it's if you find anything yellow, that's cool. Yeah, let me know, okay? Ruthless. Here's the various British invasions. Starbucks. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about some of these old bands. Rabbit. That's interesting. I'm probably going to have to... The B-52s. Oh, look at that. I've got I've to gotta get the B-52s. And that's got to be original because that's the original. Look at that Target right there. I'm going to have to just, uh, you know, who is this? They've got like, they've got like, I don't know, I don't know, they got like paint on them or something. How weird is that? Ambrosia, Dragon. That's kind of cool. Look at that dude's hair. That guy has got some sweet hair. I'm going to have to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put them all in my cart. I know I'm getting those for sure. And then I'm going to look them up. Because, you know, you never know. I, I ain't got nothing but time. Let's, let's look them up. So I ended up getting 46 8 tracks that were still sealed. Some of them I'm sure they're not going to be worth that much, but I'm sure like The Clash and uh, Sex Pistols and Led Zeppelin and Fleetwood Mac still sealed from way back then, that they're probably going to be worth something. This is, I don't know, people want some of these for their, uh, for their, for their cars. Um, this is like British gold, so I'm sure there'll be like the Beatles and stuff on that be kind of a kind of a cool the bgs derek and the dominoes elton john the trogs it's got wild things so if someone's got a classic car with an a-track player then they want these so yeah i'm gonna get the rock they're all pretty much rock and stuff like that so that's a no-brainer here's a couple of more items that i like to purchase um, i always pick up these floor mats when i see them this here is two bucks and uh, it's an OEM floor mat. I look it up by the number that's right here. You can look them up by those part numbers. It'll tell you what item that they go to. And um, I sold one just the other day for like, I think 30 bucks. And then I found this. It's a Dymo power supply. Brand new in the pack for $1. I think it's a pretty good pickup. I think, I think they'll sell pretty good. What do you guys think? I like it. So I didn't find a whole lot today. I did end up with a, another tripod. That's a nice brand. 
Um, I ended up, I sell a lot of these. It's a steel chainsaw shirt. I find a lot of them. If you ever find these, they flip quick and it's $7.75. I did score another St. Louis Ram shirt, but I'm pretty disappointed in the clothes this week. I don't know if somebody got up here already today and scored a bunch of clothes. Um, could be, very well could be, but didn't find a whole lot today. But found some stuff, I'm pretty happy. The 8-tracks should do pretty good. That's a pretty good score. I think that if I can get 4 or 5 bucks a piece out of them, I mean... That's 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 a good haul. That's almost uh, if I get if I can get four bucks a piece out of them shipped, and there's forty of them there. Um, four, eight, sixteen. So that's what 160 bucks. That's not too bad. I'm not gonna complain, but um, I figured it's probably going to triple my money. Sealed eight tracks. Almost if it's any artist, it'll sell. Um, I've never had any trouble with them in the past, so I don't think I'll have any trouble with them in the future. We'll see. If I can't sell them, I mean, they're 50 cents a piece. I don't see how I, even, even at a buck, I'm still going to double my money. So, I don't know. Let's see if we can find some more stuff. Okay, this whole haul here cost me like, I think it was like 45 bucks. But I have a ton of these awesome 8-tracks. And there's some old punk rock 8-tracks in there. I don't know a ton about punk rock music. But I've done really well with it in the past. And I did find this really cool uh, tripod. And as a YouTuber, you can never have enough tripods. Yeah. I uh, really, really think that's nice. It's really good sturdy tripod. So I'm pretty excited about that. I picked one up the other day if you watched my video. But... Um, I just wasn't that impressed with it. It was real shady, and I have like a freaking five, six hundred dollar camera with like another fifty dollar mic and some other stuff on it that I don't want to just put on top of a uh, like a ten dollar tripod. So that'll work out really well. Um, I do have a really nice, super nice tripod that I bought. It's like a three or four hundred dollar tripod, and I got it for like thirty bucks at an auction. But it doesn't. I need to find an attachment because it doesn't attach to my rig. So that's eh, enough of my YouTube problems. But hope you enjoyed this. I don't know what we're gonna do next. Um, so if the video ends here, have a good day. But if it continues on, let's see what else we can find. I'm not afraid of